Welcome back to the Pyru Podcast, y'all. It's your host from that West Coast, Week 100. Not to be confused with that fool that manages that giraffe neck rapper named Blueface. So today, we got a special guest on the virtual couch with us, for those of you that don't know. This is a call-in interview, not some in-person shit. These celebrity people ain't got time to be pulling up for these interviews, so we just get them on the line, nice and easy. So without another minute wasted, I want to bring the legendary actor, Will Smith, to the mic. What's up, man? Thanks for having me. Hold up, Big Willie. You already starting out on the wrong foot, partner. You got to either say pause or no ditty after saying some such shit like, thanks for having me. Wow, is it that deep, brother? You see, there you go again. Anyway, moving right along, I know you're here to promote your new movie, Bad Boys Foe, that drops next month, but fuck that. I want to ask you some questions about that slap. Well, you promised not to bring that up, but I see you like all the other journalists lying to get an interview, so go ahead. Nigga, you slapped a man on live TV. Fuck you, us, Beck. But anyway, what was going through your mind when you started walking up to the stage to that man? Well... Like Diddy said in that apology video, I was in a dark place and I just zoned out. That was a hell of a zone out, Will. You slapped fire out that boy's mouth in front of the whole world. If you had to do it all over, would you change anything about that night? That man had constantly joked about my wife, so if I could do it all over again, I would have popped him with both hands. Damn! Cold-blooded right there, Will. So, when you approached him, had you already planned on bitch slapping him? Or was that spur of the moment? Well, I think I was going to punch him. But then, all of the cameras and people caused me to do a little less than that. Ain't that nigga from the Bronx or Queens or one of them New York boroughs? What would you have done if he would have rushed your ass? Man, I'm from West Philly. We don't have no punk in us, boy. Nigga, you have been out here in Hollywood for 35 years. You don't remember shit about no West Philly, so stop it. You know what? Let's just talk about my new movie with Martin Lawrence, Bad Boys 4. What is it about? What is it about? Are you kidding me? It's Bad Boys Part 4. One of the greatest movie franchises ever. Me and Martin Lawrence are two Miami detectives that... Hold up. Let me stop you right there, homie. On Pyru. I don't fuck with no movies about the one times. Okay, but you've heard of my bad boys movies before, right? Nigga. Didn't I just say, I don't watch no police ass movies. If y'all niggas playing some cops in the movies, then I ain't watching it. Now back to the slap. Let's say that was Mike Tyson or The Rock had been up there. Would you still have slapped him? You know what? I'm out of here, dude. I ain't got time for this. If you want to hear more fire interviews like this, go over to the YouTube channel, GK David Stories, for updates. When you pull up over there, go ahead and hit them like subscribe and notification buttons. Now stay tuned for this ad we got coming up next, homie. Niggas don't go camping. But for all you white folk that do, Amazon got this portable generator that is fire. It's called the Jackery Portable Power Station Explorer 300. It has a backup lithium battery and a solar generator for outdoors camping, traveling, and hunting. Solar panels are optional. It takes only two hours to recharge 80% of the battery of the power station through a wall outlet and 60-watt PD USB-C port simultaneously. Y'all need to grab one of these while Amazon still has them. A direct.